Hey people, just wanted to let you know I'm staying safe. You noticed I got the mask today. I had to go get some uh, pretty hefty, pretty hefty antibiotics today because my mom got a call from the lung doctor. She smokes a lot. She was in the hospital for about three months starting back in Christmas and she got pneumonia and has a viral infection in one lung. So I had to go down to the no frills pharmacy and pick up her pills. I got a lot of weird looks at the grocery store. I live in Fort St. John, BC, so if you don't know that, uh, that's where it is. And we don't have much, only nine or whatever it is in Northern Health from Prince George to Fort Nelson. I know some people who got home in the last few weeks from trips who went to the bank a couple times, who thought it was okay to just go out of their house and get some gas, you know, and stop at the fucking store. I got a lot of weird looks at the grocery stores, I'll have to admit. I got a lot of weird looks. When I went to the pharmacist, after standing in line, quite a long time too, because social distancing apparently means like if you stand a little bit too far away, somebody's just going to cut right in and go in front of you. So it took me a good 15 minutes of sitting in the no frills at the pharmacy to get these pills. As I said, I got a few weird looks. When I got to the pharmacist, my friendly neighborhood pharmacist, Dr. Gordon, I don't even know if pharmacists are doctors. He's a little Asian man. And to not be racist, I don't even know where he comes from. Maybe Hong Kong. Maybe, who, who the fuck knows, he's Asian. He took one look at my mom's prescription and he was like, you're doing the right thing. He didn't give me a weird look about the mask. He didn't think, he said, you're doing the right thing. You know, I have to put this on to go see my mom later. I had a cold. I'm getting over my cold. I can feel it in the lungs a little bit. I go out every morning. I fucking walk the dogs. I suck in the air. I fucking hold it in. I let it out. I suck it in again. I like nice, cold, clean air. My cough is going away. But for anyone who's doubting, like, you go ahead. You check the websites. You check what the government's saying. Fine. Be careful. Wash your hands. Wash everything in your house. Wash your fucking... I had to start wearing gloves because my fucking hands were falling off from all the washing and all the cleaner and all the vinegar and the bleach and the fucking, you name it. I've been spraying everything inside my work truck, spraying it down. I fucking used a pressure washer on the carpets. I fucking sprayed the doors down. Anything without a button, I fucking pressure washed. And I can take the stupid mask off for people who don't know about masks, it's important to get a good seal. It's important to get a good seal. So you need to be clean shaven. Most of the people in my town know about this. I'm taking H2S 15 fucking times in my life. I have to bleep that out. Not monetizing. Uh... I know how to put a mask on safely. I know how to make sure I got a seal. I know everyone says about NOS. Uh, what do they say? N I O S H 95, right? That's the. Uh, that's what everyone's talking about on the internet. 
If you don't got one of those, any mask will fucking be better than no mask. Even a fucking bandana around your face. I seen it put the other day and it makes perfect sense. If you're standing in a field with a bow and arrow and a target 100 meters away or 300 feet if you're in the United States, nothing in between you, you shoot the fucking arrow at the target, it's gonna hit every time. Nothing in between. Now if you go to the forest or perhaps there's even one bush in between you and the target, well, the odds of the arrow hitting the target are a little bit less. Add a couple more bushes, even less. The trick is to take on and off anything you think is infected properly. Keep your hands away from your eyes. Keep your hands away from your mouth and nose. Discard that stuff. There's a lot of videos out there right now saying, you know, like how to reuse these masks. They're worldwide shortage, right? I had to go dig those out of my fucking shed from the last time. I was doing some painting. I don't fucking do much handiwork at home. So they were old. Cleaned them off. Sprayed them down with a solution of bleach and water. Left them in a sealed container for five minutes. And I opened the container and let them dry completely. That's better than nothing. But I'm just gonna say one more time. My Asian pharmacist told me I was doing the right thing. Take that for what it's worth, people. Stay clean, stay strong.